Hey folks, Bob Britt with Bobcat Outdoors here. Tonight I'm going to be uh, replacing the drag washers in an Abu Garcia 6500 C3. I noticed a couple of weeks ago that the drag on one of my 6500s was slipping pretty bad. So I got on the internet and ordered some new Carbontex drag washers. Um, I'll post a, a link in the description of where you can go buy these if you're having the same problem with one of your 6500s. And also the uh, the drag grease that you'll need to grease the washers. This isn't all that difficult to do. You just take your time. And uh, if it's your first time doing this, be sure you take pictures of every step. Um, organize your parts that you take off of here. Uh, like I said, it's not that difficult, but I'm going to try to walk you through it the best I can step by step. Thanks for joining me this evening. Okay, this is just a few of the tools you're going to need. Uh, a flathead uh, screwdriver, a couple different sizes. I have a small one here um, and an even smaller one right here. Um, a 10 millimeter wrench is something you'll need if you don't have a 10 millimeter wrench. A, a adjustable crescent wrench will work. Um, uh, just a little, little old brush. Uh, I, I clean a lot of reels, so I use this brush to uh, apply grease to my reels. Um, this is the Cal's Universal Reel Grease, Drag Grease. Um, I'll post a link to where you can uh, get this too if you're interested in purchasing it. Uh, this is your Carbon Tex Drag Washers, Carbon Fiber Drag Washers by Smooth Drag. Um, these will fit on the, the Ambassador 5500. Uh, quite a few of them. It fits 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 series C3, C4. Um, it does not fit the older reels pre-1991, so you'll kind of need to go to their website and make sure you're picking the proper drags for your... Um, and so these are a little bit better than the original ones that came in it. Um, I think some of the early ones use mylar or some type of plastic. Okay, let's get started. I'm also going to show you too, on this 6500, I actually updated the handle uh, from the original. It's just a little bit longer. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's probably three eighths of an inch longer, maybe more than the original handle, just to give me a little bit more leverage. Um, you know, when you're cranking in big fish or heavy weights or, you know, casting out a mile and having to bring it in the I think the extra handle actually. And I also post a description of where I've got these, uh, where I'm getting these handles too. I only pay like five bucks for these handles, but it takes a while for them to get here. I order them through eBay. I'll post a link in the description for that also. Okay, the very first thing we need to do is uh, go ahead and grab our line and get this line situated. What I like to do is take some painter's tape and put it on the spool just like that. And then just wind it up. That way it'll keep your line from uh, coming unfurled while you're taking the spool in or out. Unless you plan on changing your line anyways, then you can just peel the line off of it. So once I've got the line situated, just got some blue painters. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first thing we're going to do is take the, uh, the screw out that holds the cap on that covers the nut the spindle nut holds everything together okay there's the cap and the screw and I like to kind of as I take things off I like to organize it and just kind of put it in a grid starting with a uh, starting with that and then each additional piece that we take off we'll kind of lay it in order okay now we're uh, we're removing the nut remove the nut Now this part is tricky. You gotta be real careful with this little, you've got a little snap ring right here and this little snap ring will go flying across the room. So I'm gonna take this tiny screwdriver and I'm gonna put my thumb on top of this snap ring and there's two notches in it right here and here. And you wanna get your screwdriver behind it while keeping your thumb on this and just kind of uh, pry it out. I know y'all can't see this, but um, there's that tiny snap ring, and I assure you, you do not want to lose that. So we're going to lay that tiny snap ring right there, and then the handle comes off. 
<coughs> excuse me. Okay, and on the back side of the handle is our tension washer um, for the hand for the drag, the star washer. I'll lay that right there. Now you notice I'm just kind of laying everything off in the order that I'm taking it off. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start backing off the drag star washer. lay that aside and also be careful when you're taking this apart because there's a little bushing right there a little uh, brass bushing so make sure you don't lose that i'm going to leave that on top of the star and then in here you'll have two tension washers that actually hold pressure oh, there's my tweezers you're going to have two tension washers that hold pressure against the drag washers you'll have two of these there's one and let's see. Sometimes you get it started, you gotta kinda flip the rub. There's the second tension washer. We'll lay them together. Those have had a little rust on them. Uh, each time I take them off, I try to brush them up a little bit. Okay, now that you have all that off, you'll want to take, uh, this is your tension knob for your spindle, your, your tension on your spool. So I'll go ahead and take that off and I'm gonna set it right there. Okay, now we're ready to take screws loose. Got three of these screws. These are these are captive screws. Um, in most cases, they'll stay with the case. And you loosen these two screws and then you can, these shouldn't really be more, any more than hand tight. They don't, it's not necessary to, to uh, torque these screws down at all. Okay, so once these are, are completely loose, um, we're going to go ahead and pull this, pull our side plate off. Okay, and those are our, our spools still in the reel. Okay, and we'll set it aside. I'm going to pull our our uh, pull our axle out. Set it right there. Okay, now what we're what we what we have now is we have our guts. What we've got to do, we've got to get inside here to get to the drag washers. Now, in order to do that on the 6500, I have two screws here. Now, when you, you kinda wanna hold this together as you take these screws apart because there's a little bit of a spring action inside of here. Pressing down. Got one, two screws here to take loose. Okay, set them to the side. I'm just kind of working on a plastic tray here that has ridges in it. So it's a lid to a hefty box. Eh, yeah, nothing fancy. You can use a, a paper towel, a, a cotton towel works pretty good. Uh, anything to keep your screws from rolling off. Okay, so once we have those two screws out, we're gonna gently lift the cover off. Okay, and that, that exposes the inner workings of our 6500 now really if you you don't really if you're changing out drag washers you don't have to go any further than this right here um, if you want to clean this and lube it you can go ahead and tear it down further but what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take this these pieces off um one at a time and i'm going to just i'm going to flip them upside down so that i know exactly when I put them right side up, they're gonna pick them up and put them right back on here. So first thing we're gonna do is take the spacer. Um, this is what our ARB or anti-reverse bearing, um, this rides on our anti-reverse bearing. Okay, we'll take that off and set it aside. And then we have our first metal washer, okay? Okay, here's our first metal washer. I'm gonna take it and lay it upside down right there. Now there's our first drag washer. I'm gonna lay that right below our first metal washer. Right here is your is our second metal. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pull this out because this one's been difficult and don't want to come out of there. So I've taken the cog out, the the whole uh, gear out, and I'm gonna tap it. See if I can free that one up.
Okay. That one stuck down there pretty good. Um, so I'm going to try this little pick. This is just a little dental pick. Um, I don't know if you can see the focus on that or not. It's got a tiny little thing, and I'm going to stick this dental pick down there. Sometimes uh, when you're working on these reels, little accessories like this dental pick are worth their weight in gold because you're all the time having to deal with small screws and things that don't want to move like this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take that out of there. All right, there we go. Okay, there's our la our final uh, metal washer, and there's our final fiber washer. And actually, it looks like somebody had these out of order. Um, these should have been in between these plates, but actually two of these were stuck, and I had one metal plate that was metal on metal. So now that we've got um, all of our our drag washers out of here, we'll clean this out. Get a Q-tip, just a regular old bathroom Q-tip and uh, cleaning the debris or junk out of here that might have gotten in here over time. Uh, it never hurts to clean as you're going. Okay, I'm gonna put this back on here where it goes. Actually, there's one more. <clears throat> you do have to disassemble this because there's, there's one more fiber washer um, right here on this bottom piece. So we're going to go ahead and take that one off and uh, we'll set it right here. Okay, now let's open up our, our new pack of, uh, of drag washers. Like I said, these are Carbon Tex, Carbon Tex drag washers <clears throat> made by Smooth Drag. And like I said, I'll post a link to this in the Brush blade and carefully remove our, our drag washers to make sure we don't lose any of them. All right. Let's see. Right, there's the replacements. Um, you can. You can tell the difference between the new ones and the and the carbon test because the old ones are smooth, um, like this, and the the carbon fiber ones have a little bit of a uh, texture to them. I don't know if you can see that or not, they're a little textured. So no need to worry about getting them getting them confused. Okay, the first thing we're going to do. You notice I got one a little bit smaller right here. That's going to go right here on top of uh, on this one. Replace this one. All right. We'll give this a little bit of cleaning. Clean that up a little bit. All right. Flip that over. Put our gear back in there. I got that there. Now we just start reassembling everything. on here open up our cows universal drag grease doesn't take a whole lot of this so uh, i'm just going to get like a, just a tiny bit on the end of a one of these tiny screwdriver heads uh, they say don't use a lot uh, so i'm just going to get it and kind of smear it around with my hand my finger there okay that's probably going to be enough to do all of them i'm not going to it seems kind of odd to be putting grease on something that's supposed to cause friction, but that's what we're going to do because that's what they say to do. Just a little bit more right there. All right. Now we take our first metal washer. Uh, this one's going to be the flat one. It doesn't have any ears on it, and it doesn't have the raised part on it like this one does. So our first smooth... Ooh. That's not where you want that to be. Our first smooth washer goes, first you put your carbon text washer on, then your smooth washer, and then we grab another carbon text washer, 
Put a little grease on it. Rub it in, smear it in. This thing will stop a train after we're done with it. Yeah. Okay, you get that, get a little grease on that one. That one, that one goes in next. Okay, now the next wa metal washer that goes in is gonna be the one with our ears on it. So we'll put the one with the ears on it and make sure that when you when you put it in there that the ears line up with the the notches in the main in the brass gear it's you know or it's designed to if it's if that doesn't if that doesn't if it isn't in there things are not gonna work right. Okay I'm gonna grab our last and final carbon tex washer take a little drag grease Put it on there, smear it around. Just rub it in with your fingers. No big deal. Okay. There we go. Got that one on. And then lastly, we're gonna put our uh, our dome-shaped uh, metal washer on. And we'll make sure that the 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 area that's raised is up just like so all right now we're ready to while i got this out i'm gonna go ahead and uh just put a little bit of uh of super lube uh, on that main gear uh, just take a little bit on the end of a screwdriver doesn't take a lot you don't have to smear these things up with grease just take a little and put it on the uh, on the brass gears to spread it around. That's a uh, that's plenty. Okay, uh, everything here is pretty clean, so I'm not going to uh, do anything else. We're going to take our main assembly um, with our drag washers and put it back in here and make sure that. Uh, the the main gear meshes good with your uh, your pinion shaft gear. Uh, we're done with our drag grease. Get that out of the way. All right, let's start doing the reassembly. Uh, also, this is a good time to uh, take a little drop of oil and uh, drop it right in here until you add our reverse bearings. I don't recommend you greasing these, but every once in a while, just take a single drop of oil and put it right there in your ARB bearings or anti-reverse bearings. Okay, now first thing we're going to do, we'll start putting this back together, is we've got our, uh, got, our whoops, got our bushing that sits right there. we put our bushing back on. Can you see that bushing? back on there now if you forget to put that bushing back on there you're not going to have instant and reverse good okay now we're going to put our side plate back on and carefully line that up line the holes up um, until these are sticking sticking up through there Okay, and then we start with our two small screws, one here, one here. Word of warning, make sure that your release lever is sticking in the, in this, out of the side plate where it should be. If this thing gets up in here, you're not going to, it's not, everything's not going to go together right like I just done. There we go. Got those two in. One, two. 
our uh, release levers right here. Okay, let's start with our uh, stack. First of all, um, we'll put our washers on. These things, these are these washers are kind of bent. They've got a curvature to them. Um, yeah, they're kind of rusty, but I don't have any extras right now, so the old rusty ones are going to go back on there. I always put them to where they're they're touching one another, where they're standing proud, um, and they create an arch in the middle. Can you see that? Uh, you see how that's got? Whoop, no, that's, that's side to side. Yeah. Well, as you get the idea, you see there's a little light coming through there. Okay, now those two tension washers, um, those are to push back and, and to put tension on the drags when it's all tightened down. Okay, the next thing you're going to get is, uh, let's see, we'll grab this little bushing right here so I don't lose it. This, uh, this little brass bushing is so tiny and thin, um, it's going to be real easy to lose, so be careful when you're taking that star off to not to lose that little bushing there. Okay, our little bushing goes on. And then our star drag wheel goes on. Uh, and be very careful when you're putting the star back on. You, you really don't want to force it at all. Um, if you do, you will strip it. Brass is not the uh, not the hardest of metals. It's actually quite soft. But I get it started and then grab it with your uh, with your uh, wrench here because it won't spin on you. Put your needle nose and just just grab the slotted end without damaging the threads. There we go. You don't, at this point, you certainly don't have to tighten your drag all the way back up. I can tell there's gonna, this reel's gonna have a lot more drag now. Let's see. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and put the spool back in. Put the side plate back on after I put the spool in. Make sure I don't have any excess grease or oil on this. And then, uh, Put our spool back in. Right, everything's lined up. Our spool back in. And we're gonna line up the holes, okay? Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is you got to be real careful when you're putting this back in. These are your centripetal brakes. If you don't use them, you just press them up on there. Um, but uh, those centripetal brakes, when you're when you're sliding this back in, they ride inside of this housing right here, okay? And you want to make sure that you're not pinching the centripetal brakes uh, on the inside of this housing. And the the easiest way I found to do that is to make sure that when you're putting the spool back, to, when you're putting the reel back together, that you have the centripetal brakes pushed all the way in, okay? And then you uh, start to spool on there. And then you make sure they're level. And you as you're as you're pushing this, you just want to kind of jiggle it and make sure that there's nothing there's nothing impeding um, where the side plate meets the rest of the body of the reel. If it's sticking out, then you know you've got one of your brake, your clutches, your little brakes inside there, centrifugal brakes. You've got one of them paints in between the housing. So, you know, pull this back off and check that. So, okay. Now we just take and get our thumb screw started. Since we got everything going the way we want it. So I'm just finger tightening these. You don't have to... And uh, about a quarter of a turn with a screwdriver is about all I ever do. If that, not even a quarter, it's probably eight. Just snug them up, okay? And next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our tension cap back on, uh, your spool tension cap, and uh, make sure that you kind of position your star wheel where you've got access to that. It's real difficult to try to put, put the uh, spool tension knob back 
and you've got this in the way, so you just drop it down in between there and reach underneath your star drag and start tightening this back up. Once again, if you feel any tension, you know, back it off and restart it. You don't want to cross thread anything. And we got that on there. All right. Now let's start disassembling or putting uh, this back on. Okay, like I said, I'm just picking these things up as I took them off. Um, they we're going to put our tension, our tension washer on here. That goes with the... Uh, the curved side should go down towards the star drag like that. Okay, I don't know if you see that or not. And the next thing is going to be is our handle. Like I said, this is a this is a larger handle. Now that I've got it off, I'm going to show you the difference in the size of the handle. This is the stock factory uh, Abu handle. Uh, probably even got one with paddle wheels on it here somewhere. And here's a here's a paddle wheel handle. Um, this is old style. This is a little newer style, but yet this one's way bigger than both of them. Okay, so we're gonna put the upgraded handle on her to give us a little more torque. And that's just slotted. Uh, the handle slotted. The shaft slotted. Crank slotted. I'm gonna hold that like that, and we're gonna get our nut started. Okay, and this is another place you got to be real careful not to not to cross thread this nut. You see, I'm holding a well, finger on this side and a finger on this side, and I'm going to get this brass nut started. Very fidgety, especially if you got fat fingers like I do. There we go. Nope. Here we go. Got that started on there. And we'll give it a, so this is a 10 millimeter nut. Um, of course, I'm like every other mechanic. I can never find my 10 millimeter. You don't need to crank this down. I just snug it up. Okay. Back it off just a little bit. Um, I like for, the the points on the nut to be lining up with that little hole right there because that way our cap is going to go in there easier now we've got to put this snap ring back on and uh, let's see push that whole assembly down on there so we can get our snap ring on like i said guys you got to uh you got to really be careful with this itty bitty itty bitty tiny weeny teeny weeny snap ring so i'm going to get this uh snap ring started and i'm going to push it towards me and sometimes you have to take a little screwdriver and uh grab the put your finger on top of it to keep it from flying and just kind of push that snap ring on there like that until it snaps All right. okay and we've got our snap ring on we've got our nut on we got our snap and put that on there. Oh, a pair of tweezers are so handy. Okay, last but not least is this little screw that holds that cap on. Uh, no need to torque this down either. Just give it a quarter turn. And uh, let's make sure everything's working. All right, we got our... Drag washers on there. Right. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to uh, take the tape back off now and test on it. Release the spool. Grab our line. Give it a good tug. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got drag. Ooh. Turn the clicker on so I can hear that. Sound of a clicker. Isn't that the best sound in the world? Yeah. Plenty of drag now.
Here we go. Drag washer's done. Well, all right, folks. Um, I hope that that was helpful for you. Uh, I've did that a lot on a lot of my reels. Uh, you know, sometimes after these reels get old, uh, these things will pretty much last forever as long as you take care of them, you clean them, uh, you put a little grease and a little oil on them every now and then. Um, but like I said, the, those Carbon Tex drag washers are definitely an improvement over the old like, Mylar style or felt style drag washers that come with these reels. And also over time, people keep their drags tightened as tight as they can keep them and it causes those drag washers to flatten out over time. Also, they'll get old and brittle and break on you. Um, so, you know, putting the carbon tex in is definitely an improvement over the original and will get you uh, get you fishing smooth again and fighting fish. Uh, y'all, thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all watching like I always do, time after time. Keep coming back, keep liking my videos, keep sharing my videos. If this was helpful to you, uh, pass it along to someone else and maybe it'll help them. Uh, I do appreciate y'all watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you and God bless.